So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview. You know, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Come by the site and check it out sometime. Hundreds, hundreds of interviews with celebrities and media newsmakers there. The show is brought to you today on iPhones, Android, Palm, and BlackBerry by the Stitcher app for mobile devices. You can also subscribe for free on iTunes and Blueberry. Mr. Media is also sponsored by ThePartyAuthority.us. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, or corporate event? For any and all occasions, call the Party Authority nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs. That's 1-800-342-5357, where one call does it all. So where was I before the commercial? Oh, yeah. Mr. Media is recorded live from the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Noreen DeWolf had my attention when I heard she had been a guest star on the NBC spy comedy, Chuck. And when I rewatched the incredible girl fight scene she had with the show's blonde-haired star, Yvonne Strahovski, I immediately knew with whom I was dealing. <laughs> Chuck fans, if you can't quite place Noreen yet, let me take you back to season one, episode 13, minute – oh, come on. I'm not that – I'm not that – I'm not that geeky uh, – in which a pretty young woman enters the yogurt shop shop where Strahovski, playing Sarah, works. Noreen asked to see something in the back room. Yvonne says, the back room is only for employees. Noreen pulls a gun out of a paper bag. Sarah is as surprised as we are. Then they fight. Now do you remember? (laughs) It's quite a scene. And that was hardly Noreen's only moment of fame. Now, if you're still not familiar with Noreen DeWolf, Here's a sample of her film and TV appearances, including her role in Ghosts of Girlfriends Past with Matthew McConaughey and ending with her Chuck Battle. Hi, welcome to Summer's Farm. May I take your order? Good kid is often the same. Good kid's slow and sometimes mundane. But I can't love the way that I feel. I give much children in my last crush. Holly. Hey, hookers. Hey, great bag. Nice shoes. Sorry I'm late. I have a brain tumor. And who diagnosed you this time? Your manicurist or your psychic? An MD. An online MD. There's a picture of a doctor. There's only one way to find out, dude. I've got a pregnancy test in my purse. You carry around a pregnancy test? Yeah. I also carry around insulin in case it turns out I'm diabetic, which I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, I have leprosy. Uh Uh-huh. I have this weird patch of skin, so I came here to get it checked out. Well, have you been examined in? No. Would you like to? Sure. I have some shame. Oh, what you have is cirrhosis. I do? That's dry skin. Oh. Uh, where do you think you're going? Oh, Mel. God, you don't know how happy I am to see you. <sighs> really? Did you learn nothing from the last ghost? You're the ghost of girlfriend's present? Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. Oh, tell me about it. But as sad as it is, I'm the only consistent woman in your life. So here I am, just working on the weekend. Again. You're totally gay, right? What? You're not? No. That was just one time in college. I, I went to Barnard. Okay. I had no choice. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Mel. If I'd have known, I would have hit on you a lot sooner. What was that for? Because tonight I'm the boss. You ready? <sighs> what are you doing? Are we gonna like fly off or something? It's the present, you idiot. We're here already. <laughs> you know, I'm interviewing for a new secretary. Mm-hmm. How good is your dictation? You get it? Dick. Please, I'm actually at this party. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. I was wondering if I could get something out of your freezer. Kitchen is usually off limits for non-employees. Okay. 
Then I'll have to use my special hat. You're no hot dog maker. Bring it on, Pete girl. Watch that scene over and over all day long. <laughs> Listen, on Friday, June 11, 2010, at 9 p.m. Pacific Time, Noreen DeWolf will star in unscripted Hollywood dream role at Acme Comedy Theater in Los Angeles. DeWolf will appear alongside the show's hilarious improv cast in the dream role of her choice. Studio tickets are $8 online and $12 at the door, and you can order tickets or watch the show live online for free at acmecomedy.com. Noreen DeWolf, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I, I bring you greetings from Chuck star Vic Sahai, who was uh, a guest on the show uh, two weeks uh, ago. He said to tell you, and I hope I get this right and don't cost okay. us our broadcast license. This is, he said, Array, hello, Beatty. I hope <laughs> I did not justice. this. I love him. He's hilarious. What did, I just, what did I just say? Can you tell me? He yeah he just said like oh hi girl. Oh okay. <laughs> he wouldn't he wouldn't tell me. He barely was willing to help me get it pronounce it correctly. So he was and he was not willing to tell me what it was I was saying, but uh we've known him for a while on the show and I I I just had to trust him, right? <laughs> I like him a lot. He's a really nice guy. He had good things to say about you as well. Oh. Um well, look, it's obvious from the introduction, I'm a big Chuck fan, and I love that scene. So let's talk about Chuck. It, that was obviously two seasons ago, but that scene between you and uh, Yvonne Strahovski uh, was, was truly legendary among Chuck fans. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that a fun show to be on that early? Yeah, it was very fun. And I was, um, you know, it was, it was right before the writer's strike, so... It was an interesting, abrupt end to their first season. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was, and it was an exciting part for me to play because the show does have such a fan base, and um, I do get. I just got recognized the other day. And somebody was like, "Excuse me, are you Lizzie the Peta girl from Chuck?" I was like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> so I loved it. I, I wasn't as prepared for the fighting. I didn't realize it was going to be so intense, but they did give us about three days of training and. Um, a, a real specific fight coordinator choreographer came in and um, and coached us through all the sequences because there's another big fight on the rooftop. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do actually. I, uh, you know what? What was memorable to me? Uh, I mean, you know, look, you don't see girls fight like that all the time. Uh, but the other thing was, it was still early enough in that in that show's history that we hadn't really seen uh, Yvonne, who's on there every week fight that intensely before I don't think and you know to see her fight like that with another woman was like okay this show is going crazy places yeah it was fun it was really exciting I was really lucky to be on it um it was, it was nice um now we also played uh, a, a great scene uh, with you in uh, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past uh, and that made members of the uh, the crew here uh, they immediately recognized you from that uh, and I'm thinking that that had to be pretty fun, banging Matthew McConaughey's uh, head into the steering wheel. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, my character was so um, sassy and um, really irreverent to the fact that he's her boss. So <laughs> I got to do all sorts of funny things to him, like slap him across the face and bang his head into a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and and how, is he, how is he to work with? Uh, any, you know, I mean, some, I think people think of him as a little nuts. Um, I wouldn't say that he's nuts, but I would definitely say he's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the difference between the two, again, would be what now? Very slight difference. <laughs> Very a lot of crossover. Um, no, he's not nuts. He's a really good actor, actually. I was I was really uh, really surprised when I got to set because you know sometimes people just um, once they become a movie star, you know, kind of get out of control. But but he's a very good actor. I mean, 
I, I was wholly impressed with him. Hey, you play, as, as we've seen, you play a lot of comedy. Uh, do you have a preference, comedy over drama? You seem very adept at the funny stuff. Oh, thanks. Um, I mean, I, I definitely prefer comedy. But, you know, it's also just the thing that I I also just get offered comedy, not drama. When I go out for the dramas, they're not as receptive. But I did some drama. I was um, I did two episodes of 90210, and I've done, like, a CSI New York, and I did a Numbers, and I've done a lot of TV drama. And I have a, I have a drama film coming out in the fall. It's called The Tuck Wakors, and um, that's a drama, and I have a, a nice role in that. Hmm. Now, um, the thing that I'm told about you, uh, and you can see it, uh, in your list of credits, but that you're working all the time. And then I wondered if, is that a matter of uh, work ethic? Is it opportunity? Or is it fear of not working? Um, I guess it's some combination of all three things. I I do love to work, and I do put a tremendous amount of pressure on myself to work. And, you know, even in, when I'm not working, I think it's harder not to work as an actor, because when I'm not working, I've got... My agent and my manager sending me out on three auditions a day, and it's very taxing on me. <laughs> so I, I like to book a job so that I can just go to set and work. And, you know, ultimately, the reason why I'm an actress is because of how much I love to act. And so I try to spend as much of my time doing that as I can. Hmm. Um, you're, uh, you know, uh, you don't need me to tell you this. Uh, and people who are... Uh, watching our show uh, on video either live or uh, in the archive later can see you're a beautiful woman um, it, it, how much do you think your looks play into uh, getting work and you know does that bother you either way I don't I don't know if my looks play into me getting work because I I mean that question is so layered you know I mean the thing is I'm ethnic so I've always had to kind of fight against being cast very stereotypically um and I think I've been able to do that I don't think I've played too many stereotypical roles I mean all my roles are pretty different um so I have the ethnic thing and and fighting that card but besides that I think many women in Hollywood are very good looking and you know the competition is also very attractive so I'm not I would I wouldn't consider myself um, at any kind of advantage or disadvantage based on the way I look. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure when I say this that uh, you're at, when you refer to ethnicity is that you are Indian. But uh, am I am I wrong there? Or am I am I off? Right. right, I'm Indian. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, I'm sorry. You're right. I am Indian. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it would seem to me that you are, <laughs> to quote James Brown, the hardest working, hardest working Indian woman in Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> Probably. You know, uh, uh, Probably. the uh, the woman who was in Slumdog Millionaire, who you know was was wonderful. We haven't seen her in a whole lot of stuff, but boy, we, we can see you pretty much everywhere. Well, you know, the the difference between her and I is I am American. You know, I'm an American actress, and by default, you know, I'm ethnic. My parents are from a different country, but I'm an American actress. And, you know, um, the star of Slumdog, Slumdog Millionaire, Frida Pinto, she is from India. So she's not really a Hollywood actress, you know. That makes sense. Well, I, I want to remind folks that uh, part of the reason, or maybe the main reason that you're here is uh, to promote your appearance um, on Friday, June 11th at 9 p.m. Uh, in, at Acme Comedy Theater in Los Angeles in unscripted Hollywood dream role. Uh, this is actually your second starring role in an Acme comedy production, and uh, uh, Noreen was the uh, guest host of an Acme Saturday night show, which included this sketch, which is called Fly. <laughs>
Oh my god, did you see that? I just reached out of the air and I grabbed it. <laughs> that was very lucky, yes. Okay, why did you let it go? We're trying, we're trying to catch the fly. Why is it really easy to catch? Oh my god. I, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. I see, I see, I see, I want to do it. Okay, okay, all right, ready? Okay. Noreen, I'm sorry. I can't see that when it's happening, so I wasn't sure that it was I over. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> tell, us, uh, tell us about the live stage, ex- stage experience at Acme. Is it at all intimidating? Yeah, I mean, it's really intimidating. I think when you, as an actor, I'm so used to working in more of a scripted format. And so um, it's intimidating to kind of get in front of an audience after I've had a couple of years where I really haven't been in front of a live audience. And um, I don't know. I think, well, who was the late night host who said if you're not throwing up before every, was it Johnny Carson? He said Maybe. if he doesn't throw, if he doesn't feel like throwing up before every time he walks on to do his late night bit, then he knows he's lost his edge. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess it's good to be um, nervous. That's the way I, I get really nervous. Any idea what you'll be uh, choosing to do when you're uh, shot at the uh, unscripted Hollywood dream? Oh, am I allowed to say or should I not say? Because I think I know. Oh, sure. Who am I going to tell? Uh, I think I'm going to do uh, – my dream role is going to be something like my big fat Greek wedding. Oh, really? Interesting choice. Why, why <laughs> that? I don't know. I just always watch that movie and it reminds me of my family and I always thought it would be funny if I could play in that movie. <laughs> and so it was kind of my dream role. Interesting. Interesting. You know, it's funny that you picked that. I. My wife and I just saw a clip of that recently and thought, I've got a teenage daughter, and we thought, you know, that would be a real fun movie for her to watch. Uh, at least that was what I was thinking. My wife, I think, was thinking it'd be another chance to uh, check out John Corbett. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's good looking. He's in that new show, right? The ter- U.S. Terra? Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, I love that show. Yeah, that's great. We just, as a matter of fact, we just watched the final episode last night. That's uh, it's quite a show. It's a, uh, I imagine that's an actor or actor's dream to work on something like that. Oh, absolutely. That those shows on HBO and Showtime, I think, you know, everybody wants to be on one of those. Mm. Now, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, if if modeling and acting had not worked out for you, or if, God forbid, you know, in a uh, couple of years, if it's not working out for you, what else could you do? If you know, what else would you want to do? Well, that's hard for me because since I was 18, I've really been pursuing acting, you know. I mean, I did go to college, 
and I got very good grades, but, um, you know, ever since I've entered a professional space, I've been an actress. So I really don't know what I would do. Um, I just, I don't know. Maybe I would teach art classes. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Interesting. And now, uh, since it, it, it obviously it is working out for you, I have to ask you, uh, a few years back, you were named one of the 100 hottest women in the world by Maxim Magazine, photographed in there. Um, how did you hear that you were in that group? And is that an honor or a curse? <laughs> um, well, I think, first off, it's an honor. I think if any magazine dubs you as a hot, sexy lady, then it's an honor, and I take it as a big compliment. Um, and me, then it would not be an honor. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> unless, unless they chose me as one of them, then I don't think it would be an honor. I think it would be, uh, you know. Yeah, I guess the company is important. As well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I was just—I had done a photo shoot for Maxim um, to promote. I think it was the Comebacks, which was a film I did in 2007, and. They um, they called me shortly after my photo shoot. They called my um, my representation and they said we've selected her to be in the Hot 100. And I remember my um, reps called me and I was like, Oh, that's awesome! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> no idea what that was. And they said it's a list that they put together every year. It's a very big Hollywood big deal. And I was like, What number am I? And they said number 100. <laughs> So I just like slid in there, you know what I mean, right at the cutoff. <laughs> oh, I think that's awesome. You know, I, I, I'm a, before before we let you go, uh, I, I completely forgot you've uh, you've taped some episodes of uh, I guess this new MTV show, The Hard Times of R.J. Berger. Yeah. H- how many episodes are you in? I'm in three episodes of that, and I'm in episodes six, seven, and eight, and I come in um, and play R.J. Berger's. Um, first real love interest his real first real girlfriend wow lucky bastard I'm so, <laughs> sorry did i say that out loud i'm sorry well you know what i look really different in the show i have glasses and um you know i'm playing very very young and they really did a lot of um tricks to me um and and they really work i i'm i can really easily turn it quite into a character so um i definitely they definitely played upon that so that i would match him a little bit well, uh, okay, you, you may have dressed down a little bit, but uh, he and we all know who you are, so the impression is the same. Um, hey, folks, uh, listen, uh, before we let her go, Noreen DeWolf will star in unscripted Hollywood Dream Role at Acme Comedy Theater in Los Angeles on Friday, June 11th, 2010 at 9 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, that's midnight Eastern Time for the rest of the world. Uh, DeWolf will appear alongside the show's hilarious improv cast in the dream role of her choice, which we now know is My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Studio tickets are $8 online, $12 at the door, and you can order tickets or watch the show live online for free at acmecomedy.com. Noreen, I have seen and can recommend to folks that they find you on Facebook, that you have a, a, a presence there, lots of pictures, if God forbid anybody's interested in that. And uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Thank you so much. Take bye. care of yourself. We hope to, hope to have you back very soon. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. And folks, for more original interviews with your favorite actors and actresses, surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, twitter.com slash Andelman, or on Facebook, just search Mr. Media Interviews. Thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you sharing a piece of your day with Mr. Media. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye-bye.